when we're setting up for the deadlift, we want to make sure that we are correct in our position from the ground up. So the very first thing we're going to focus on is our feet. We want to make sure that we have as good and solid as possible of a connection through our feet to the surface of the floor. So think about your footwear. We want to make sure that it's a, either a hard sole or I am purpose am wearing just socks because that's going to allow me to grip my foot into the floor, press hard into this platform and lift with my max strength and raw potential. Just avoid things like a runner's shoes that's got a little bit of compression and squish in it because that's actually going to absorb your power as you try to press into the floor and lift the weight up, right? So with your feet, how far apart should you stand? Now, as we go through this, a lot of these are general guidelines and recommendations. There is a lot of difference between body types and limb lengths and different factors. So I'm going to give you the general starting points and then you need to use this information to find out and dial in what works for you and your body type. But in general, we're looking for feet shoulder width apart and toes can be out anywhere from straight forward parallel or up to about 10 to 15 degrees. But I want to differentiate that a squat typically we're going out more like 30 degrees here. So we don't want nice and wide like that. We want shoulder width apart, toes out about 10 to 15 degrees. Okay. Now here's an old school method I'm going to show you of how some old strength coaches would have you find your deadlift stance. Okay. We want to put you in your body's most naturally powerful position so you can step up on a bench, take a step off, see where your feet land, and then use that as a starting point for your deadlift. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Just going to step up right here. All right. So I want you to look where I'm at right now. This is actually my deadlift stance. You know, now I've done this drill a couple times, many times as it turns out. So I know where I'm going to land. I have a little bit of bias, but try this for yourself as a starting point. Mental snapshot. Now I'm going to take my step up to the bar. I'm in that exact same position. So we're using that stance and we want to make sure we're aligned with our weight centered and the bar weight centered over your midfoot. So this is not over the balls of your feet. It's not weight pressured centered on the heels. It's over your midfoot. Try to think about gripping the floor as if your foot was a tripod with your big toe, your pinky toe and your heel taking the pressure of all of your force. 